Uh, this should be fun. Hey, welcome back to the Bibs Repair Shop. Got new parts I'm not going to use. We'll get to that in just a minute. I could right now, but I'm going to just set up. So you can see I got gloves on because, well, it's 19 degrees out here. And just came out to the garage. I was sitting inside debating whether I was going to come out or not. And I thought, well, I can, you know, it's totally a beautiful night of like zero degrees outside and stupid cold. I'm pretty sure it's probably snowing again. Who knows? But I thought I'd get working on that a little bit. And I don't know. I dream of warmer weather. So... I'll get you set up. We'll we'll check this out, see what's inside this box, talk about why I'm not going to use it, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in a second. All right, so this showed up today in the mail, and I thought I'd uh, open it up once I find a knife. Oh, oh, it is. I know it's like pretty much cold in the entire country right now, but I don't care what they say. Us Midwesterners, we might be tougher, but this is just getting old. Just getting old. So if I pick this up, I'll always cut away from you. Yeah, this is good, good knife skills right here. Prison stab it. Um. So this is that oil oil bath cleaner for when I was going to run that 88 tin bowl. We all know from the video last night that's not going to happen now. So now yeah, yeah, wearing gloves. Wearing gloves in the video. It's 19 degrees out here, folks. It's not. I really should have probably turned the heat on when I got home from work, but I know it pretty much is only going to get to Look at that, right into the trash can. Got this off the eBay machine. All right. So, there it is. So that's an oil bath. Cleaner for an 80 and all 88, they he claims. Got a little bit of schmoo on the inside. Let me see if this would have worked. Might as well. Let's see if it would have worked. So bring you guys over here. Got the 88 grill mismatched. 14 different color tractor. So let's position that a little bit better. Don't mind the that on the tire. So the bolt holes are back in here. You're gonna have to imagine with me here quick. Imagination. I think that would have bolted up. Would have been up there just a little bit higher. I think it would have worked. So, let's talk about oil bath air cleaner. Since we got one here that we can tear apart, that's apparently already loose. That's, that's good. All right, I'm going to go to the table. Let's talk about these things. Can I turn this thing off? I can't. Use my nose. All right, got you back on the table here. So, how these work... Is and the reason why they use these, and you'll see these on all the older tractors, um, is because back in the day they didn't have the technology. There wasn't, you know, not as you get a paper filter that could flow anything. I mean, geez, the one I got on my 7.3, you can't see it here, is like, where's the other hand? Like that long. Can't actually show this to you. About, about that big around. So, what tractors, what they did back in the day is they had oil bath, and you'll see this on a lot of antique tractors and on older cars. Um, and I'd always heard of it, but I always kind of wondered how exactly it worked. And just like the how does points work tonight is uh, how does oil bath uh, air, air cleaners work. Super simple concept, just like the points. Um, so we'll talk about what uh, 
how they work and then any other like pre-cleaners that were on. We actually have a, we have a, we have a formal aftermarket pre-cleaner right here with here. Always important. John Deere tractor inside. So we'll uh, show how this system would have worked with this system. Not obviously on the same tractor because that's for my formal. That's just got to go back on. And then this is for, would be like an 88. So oil bath, obviously you had, you have a canister. Gonna have an inlet, an outlet of some sort. This one's down here on the bottom. Sometimes like the one that's on the super, it's up near the top. And you have your oil container. So this one is just, just peachy clean. I mean, just look how perfect that, ugh, it smells terrible. Um, So I'm glad I, I got a good deal on this, let's say that. But, so what would happen is you would fill this up with oil and you would normally have, see on your side here, that's your fill line. Now if you notice your fill line, and you can actually see in there where that line is, right? I know it's like 12 degrees out here, but I can take my glove off for a minute. See that line right there? See how it's above the center cup? So you'd have oil would be full up to there, and then you would come down and smash that on there. Now back, a lot of times on tractors, you'll see the recommendation on how often to put these on, and it was supposed to be every eight hours, so daily. So you think about the kind of waste oil, it's about half, you know, not too much in here, but I know my farm, well, it's quite a bit of oil. And the reason why is, is, like I said, they didn't have the paper technology to be able to effectively get the dirt out of the engine. You know, you get back into the older engines, and sometimes they weren't even, they weren't even filters. They were just open. And the misconception on, on air filters, or not misconception, but one of the main things I always thought, you know, you think when you don't have an air filter on a gas vehicle or any kind of a vehicle or any kind of an engine, that your main issue is going to be crap getting into your upper intake, into your valves, into your top of your pistons, all that. But in reality, what it's going to be is it's a dirtier oil, engine oil is going to get dirtier. Because all that stuff that gets, you know, any more dirt that gets into the combustion chamber, it will get on the cylinder walls and then get washed down with oil, get pulled down to the oil seals, end up collecting in the bottom. So that's actually what an air filter allows you to run your oil on. And so why they eventually got rid of these systems is because as engines got bigger, the amount of airflow increased, like astronomically, where uh, engine, even uh, the size of this, this to what the Super has, the Super is a much bigger um, air cleaner because it just needed to flow that much more air. So what, what, did you, what, what would happen is your air would come in into your intake here, and your intake goes straight down I hope you guys can see that straight through this you can kind of see see how it's a straight hole there right down into the center of this cup which would be if you do your math right you measure from here to here that's actually going to be sitting down into that oil see what this she says if it'll focus there but it says oil right there um so your air is going to come down your intake actually go into here pass through the oil what's going to happen there initially is any big clumps of dirt will get caught in the oil and stay. Now, in order for the air to come back up, it's got to pass through, and this is going to be packed with some kind of a membrane. This is also packed with just god awfulness because this thing is just good. I got a good deal, I think, on it. Um, and it would be where it come up the outside. And then somewhere near the top, like probably right around where this line is here, I'm assuming that my, on this one, if I tore it apart, the baffling would end right here. So this would be open on the top, and then the air could come back down, and clean air would exit here into your carburetor. So, and a lot of times there's a little, look like uh, some kind of a rubber hose that would go, but you'd want some kind of a spring in there so it wouldn't collapse on itself. And so then, you know, it worked, they worked great. You know, well then in some dustier climates, you know, you still... And I'm assuming it's more of to keep your oil cleaner because, you know, they were saying if it was dusty, if you're working out, out west um, on some of the big weed farms where it was really, really dusty every four hours. So you'd fill this thing up, put it in there for when you left the field in the morning, when you stopped for dinner, you dump it out, refill it back up in theory, and put it back on. And, you know, back in the day, 
dumping it out probably meant, you know, going to the end of the field and whoop, kill some weeds. Uh, so that's why once engines got bigger and they needed more airflow, they got rid of these old systems. But these would work great. Um, you know, a lot of these older engines, the way they work and the way you do them the way they're supposed to be, they'll work just fine. You just got to keep an eye on this because what will, a lot of times now will happen is It'll get condensation will build up in here, so it'll end up making this really milky and watery, and that's just not as good because then you're going to get more contaminants into your engine. So if you have an old oil bath system, check it. You know, obviously, my tractors, I don't think the farm all, the farm all might have gotten eight hours on it in the five years I've owned it. I mean, I just don't use it that much. So I haven't had a check, and I need to check it actually here pretty soon before I go off for the year. By that, I mean drain it out and put dry ice in it. Sorry, not sorry. Maybe I let the secret out. Um for pulling because it'll it'll breathe better but there was also some other things so then you had companies some were stock and some were aftermarket see the farmall actually let me go grab the one that would have been on the farmall i think i have it over here pretty sure it's in here nope maybe it's up here here it is so this what was what would have been this is what it was on the farmall originally and literally it just, you know, kind of kept out like, I don't know, maybe a finger from getting in there. Some really big chunks. And it would pull the air from around in here, come on the inside. Well, then there's also, and I believe this is Donaldson used to make this um, for the um, internationals. And what everybody does always as the joke is, you know, put in some other manufacturer, which I got a, I got a little John Deere in there because obviously it's one tractor company I don't care about. But yeah, so here the air would come in these little fans here. And it would do similar thing. And maybe, I think some, they would originally had oil in here um, to do the same kind of a thing. Collect that, the oil would kind of collect the dust and would settle into the oil and not. Because right now, like, I'm collecting, you can see that there's actually collected dust into here. But in reality, that dust can still get up and, you know, go into the engine. Um, it just happens to have settled there once it's done running. So, but yeah, the same kind of a thing, you can take this off and then. But like I said, a lot of times what guys do is they'll put... You know, another manufacturer's tractor. And I was originally going to have put an Oliver in there just to bug my dad, but I didn't. Um, so that was that style. Pre-cleaner for your oil bath. Let's go show you what um what's on the tractor now. These, you'll see these all. These were got a lot more popular. I mean, some tractors, when they were trying to get bigger, they were running dual cleaners. This is the same kind of a thing. You'd pull it from this mesh here. It would go, it would collect into here, into this piece, the dust would settle in here, and then it would allow it to then go into the bus. See, you know, look how much bigger this thing is, just for the Super, which was just a little bigger engine. The, the 88 would have had a 235, and this has a 265 or a 230 something. I don't remember the exact cubic inch off the top of my head, I should. Because I'm a diehard Oliver guy, I claim. Anyway, but this has got the 265 in it, so it needed a bigger air cleaner so but same concept air cup inlets here gonna go through here your oil level is gonna be here pass back up but this one just comes right out right in your carburetor let's go check out i think you can kind of see i think the 70 it's on the right side Ugh. so the 70 it's over here on this side and then it actually crosses up and over under here behind the exhaust and then back down so it's got a little bit longer. I mean, they were they were still designing things and how it all worked. And then I think most of these, the actual air inlet hangs over. A lot of times, I know in the 60, did it hung over the front of the rad, the radiator. I think on this one's up there somewhere. And the farm all, it's tucked up right there. Just the same kind of thing. Goes out of the carburetor. So, yeah, that's uh, a little quick lesson on oil bath air filters. Like I said, obviously, there's still some, there's scourge uh, industrial engines that still run them today. You'll still see Donaldson still makes them, some applications. So, well, yeah, this thing got just a good piece I picked up here. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It was a good deal, everybody. It was a good deal. All right, I'm going to go, uh, might tinker a little bit more on the Super, so let me use my nose to turn this off so I can't, I don't want to take my gloves off. All right, well, I was realizing once I shut the camera off. But I did forget one other thing that, so what happens in here. So as the air and the, it'll pick up some of the oil, 
and it'll deposit it along that mesh. That's like I said, the length of that. So when you shut the tractor off, it'll drain that all back down and fill that back up. So if you shut the tractor off right away and you pull that off, it's probably gonna be dripping for a while because it'll, and that's what that mesh will do. And there's, you can buy, you can repack these with different, different companies sell the mesh to repack them. Um, and I'd probably do that with this guy because, well, it's, it's terrible. Uh, so, but yeah, so that's why, that's the other thing it'll do. It'll, the, the air, it'll, and that, and that oil, as it gets distributed up the screen is another way for it to pull dirt and, and little particles out of the, out of the air because when the air goes, as the air passes through, it picks up those big particles. So that thought, as I was sitting there, not quite editing yet, but trying to feel my face again, because this is like a weekend song. I, I can't feel my face when I film out here. Uh, it makes it, uh, I was thinking that I hadn't really mentioned that yet. But on that regard, I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it a night because we'll start getting warmer here pretty soon. So I'll get back on the super. I thought I'd give another one of these. We'll see how these videos do. These kind of not really how to, but discussing the theory of how things work. Um, and let me know if you like them. Let me know in the comments. Um, it'd be awesome. We got some new, some new subscribers. Last couple of days have been great. Uh, I'll get back to the tractor stuff. Probably later in the week, like I said, it's supposed to warm up and hopefully... There'll be something new. Once we gotta take one over to my buddy's house, and uh, and then I'll hopefully bring a new one right into the shop. So, all right, uh, for a Bush Repair Shop, we're gonna take off. So you all have a good one. Try and stay warm out there. No, it's the weather is not fun anyway. I think the only one, only person on my channel that's watching that's got good weather is probably uh, Murphy. I think he's probably the only one that's not freezing. Everybody else that I talk to on YouTube is pretty much frozen right now. So. Uh, stay safe out there. Hunker down. Watch some YouTube videos. We've got some playlists to check out. If you want to catch up on any of the projects, um, every tractor's got its own playlist, and then I got one that's got I call all the projects, and that's everything except for the racing stuff that's on the channel. So, if you want to show the channel some support, it'd be awesome. Also, check out um, over on Facebook. Check out Bibster Promotions. I'll put a link in the description. That's my uh, page on Facebook, and uh, if you check that out, that would be awesome. So, all right, we'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.